Hello there, everyone. You can call me Bob and Threadbear. You can call this game Dragon Sphere. Brought to you by Microprose, the uh, Fox Animation Studio of adventure games. Really, it's actually a pretty apt description. I mean, for adventure games at the time, you got your Sierra, you got your LucasArts, and then you got everybody else. I mean, as you can see here, it's actually pretty good production values. These are pretty amazing graphics, at least for the time. No. Another thing it shares in common with the Fox Animation Studios is it takes far too much advantage of motion capture, and while it is voiced, well, not in the intro, but it is voiced, but the voice talent is, um, shall we say, subpar. Oh yeah, I should probably mention, uh, we're the kid on the left. Guy in the middle, that's the king. Well, of course it's the king. And, uh, the wizard's that guy going over to meet the little thunderstorm on top of the cliff. Oh wait, no, no, it's a tornado. My bad. And now we get some motion capture. Ain't it lovely, folks? And some... scrolling? Oh, and a bird. And I should stop saying what's on the screen. You can see it fine. Oh, hey, it's a castle! Yeah, I'll stop after this. Time, folks. Yeah, it turns out it was all just to make a giant ass sphere. No, I... I don't really know why. I guess they were just trying to show it off? Oh, hey, look. Didn't really work very well, either. I think he's pointing at the kid here. Don't know why he's pointing at the kid. Maybe he figures the other two guys will be dead by the time he gets out. Time to die. I mean, seriously, the sorcerer is just about to wake up. I mean, he says he can take it, but I mean, seriously, you're, you're grieving over your dead dad. You gotta go kill a sorcerer? I mean, it's given it a pretty t busy day. Oh, speaking of which, here's a coronation for you. 
bishop and everything. Oh, but it's not a Christian bishop. No, no. This is a fantasy realm. No gods here. No, sir. Coronation of my pajamas. Midnight visitors. Ah, but here we go. This is the main title screen. That was all just the intro just now. As for the game itself, well, let's start. I like a challenge. Let's go with that. Honestly, though, I have no idea what it changes. The dragon spear stirs, my lord, and more powerfully than before. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Yeah, you better get used to that. Let me sleep. We'll destroy the sorcerer another day. Got a damn hangover. Husband. You gave orders that you were to be awakened as soon as the Dragon Sphere showed signs of cracking. Time is short. You said so yourself. Come back another time. Asleep. Very well. Await me in the council chamber. As you wish, my lord. Your mother and I await your pleasure. Sounds like it came out wrong. Nah, it's probably nothing. Ah, uh, but now we have control. As you can see, uh, somewhat annoyingly, what you can do always appears right down here at the bottom. When you can uh, leave the screen, get this little go arrow here. Your average uh, adventure game options in the corner here. This is where the inventory goes. This is a nice little picture of the inventory, and this is what we can do to the inventory. In this case, we got ourselves a signet ring. You can look at it, get an even better picture of the item, a little description here. I'm not going to bother reading any of this stuff out loud, so if you want to read this, you're best off just pausing the video. Now then let's get up. Splash a little water on our faces. Stupid valet forgot a towel. Hey, look! It's not King Graham. See? Doesn't have that stupid little cyan hat with a feather in it. Can't be King Graham. How dare you think that? Hey, look at the book. Given to you by a very special woman. Now, we'll take a look inside the book, so you can read some of the poems. Like, How Do I Love Thee, Let Me Count the Ways, and Soft, What Light Through Yonder Window Breaks. Classics. Now, the reason we did this is because this game keeps track of our score. Right now, we've got five points, thanks to reading that book. We're still just a dog's body. Can't wait till we get that up a little. Maybe we'll be cat's body. Cats are cool. Over in here, we've got Fiona's room. This is back in the day when uh, living in a separate room from your wife doesn't mean you don't love her. In fact, you love her so much, you're gonna look through his diaries. Oh yeah. This gets us points too. I think. Anyway, it's interesting enough. Take a look. Hmm. 
amazing how he can just jump straight to these uh, plot relevant entries here. For Fiona's sake, you must defeat the sorcerer. You must. Right then, into the hallway. <laughs>